What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and to the WWE Class of Champions 2020 results and review. A pay-per-view which WWE was forced to cancel two of their matches. So not every single title was on the line, but we did get some interesting turnarounds. With a very interesting triple threat ladder match to start the show, WWE actually put some creativity in the ambulance match. And then of course what everybody else is talking about, something that we discussed was going to be happening leading into the pay-per-view and that was Roman Reigns decimating Jey Uso in that WWE Championship match which even featured the return of Jimmy Uso. We also got some breaking news as WWE finally confirmed the draft and when exactly is going to be happening and it's coming up soon so we're going to be talking all about that. Make sure to hit that owl boy drop on the video and turn on those notifications to continue being updated on more of the coverage. Anyways let's jump right into it so for the main event we got roman reigns versus jay uso i personally thought that randy Orton versus drew mcintyre should have closed the show it would have made much sense to quote unquote send everybody happy but to be fair what did happen at the end of this main event match between roman and jay was certainly emotional and probably got the most people talking about let's start off this review by discussing this main event match honestly this match was what biggie would would like to call a elongated squash match because that is really what it was roman reigns was just destroying jay uso all throughout and then towards the last five minutes of the match was when we got jay uso trying to make a comeback and kind of making us and even paul Heyman believe that maybe he could win the title here tonight but obviously that wasn't going down we had roman reigns ultimate delivering a big spear and also a superman punch to the point where Jey Uso was just laid out. Roman could have ended the match right there, but he kept telling the referee that he wasn't done just yet, even though the referee wanted to stop the match. Roman continued the attack and said that he was not going to end the match until Jey Uso tells him that he is the tribal chief of the family, not anybody else. This was the match that ultimately just transformed Roman Reigns from a heel to an ultimate beast heel. This was a Roman Reigns that did did not care about anything a Roman Reigns that looked like it's unstoppable in the end Roman didn't want to stop the match he continued the attack leading Jimmy Uso to come out giving him no choice but to throw in the towel for his brother Roman wasn't even done there just yet Roman still wanted Jimmy and Jay Uso to let him know who's the tribal chief who's the one running the whole family which of course led Jimmy Uso to just say it so that Roman Reigns could leave instead of continuing the attack now I don't know if WWE is gonna give us Roman Reigns versus The Rock, but I mean, this was the great build towards it already. This looks like a Roman Reigns who nobody's going to be able to stop, and a Roman Reigns that is going to require The Rock to come in and stop him. This Roman Reigns absolutely rules, and as I said, this was an emotional match all throughout. Even though it felt like it was slow paced because Roman Reigns was dominating 90% of the match, everything built up towards the end and it was great storytelling all throughout with roman just becoming more of a beast and more vicious not the best quote unquote wrestling match of the night but it was honestly great wrestling storytelling let me know your thoughts down in the comments below of this year's wwe class of champions main event going back to the beginning of the show during the kickoff we got a couple of announcements they revealed that nia jack Shayna baser and nikki cross were not medically clear to compete tonight so therefore the Raw Tag Team Championship match and the Nikki Cross versus Bailey match was cancelled. They did reveal that Bailey was still going to be appearing on the show later on in the night and that is exactly what happened. To kick off the night we had the SmackDown Tag Team Champions Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura defeating the Lucha House Party in a solid match. Then the main card started off with Sami Zayn versus Jeff Hardy versus AJ Styles and the intercontinental ladder match this was a really good match probably the best match of the night although it did have a bit of a weird ending to it which a lot of people might not necessarily like but it did make Sami Zayn look like an absolute genius some of the highlights of the night we had Jeff Hardy doing a swanton bomb to Sami Zayn on a ladder bridge that was already set up you already know Jeff Hardy gotta do that spot every single ladder match that he is in we had some other crazy scary spots 
in the match, especially with Jeff Hardy, and him just falling off of the ladder to the outside, and the ladder just tangling into him, but fortunate enough, it looks like he didn't suffer an injury. In the end, Sami Zayn pull out two handcuff. He handcuffed Jeff Hardy earlobe into one of the mini ladders, and then got to handcuff AJ Styles to himself, which then he got out of it, leaving AJ Styles handcuffed to the ladder, and him retrieving both of the Intercontinental Champions. Again, this was a very creative way to, I guess, end the match. I just didn't see it coming, and from now on, we should probably just call Sami Zayn the genius that he is. Then we got the Royal Women's Champion, Asuka, defeating Selena Vega. This wasn't too much of a match. It was slow paced. I didn't really like how they produced this match. In the end, Selena Vega attacked Asuka so it looks like it is not over just yet and they're gonna continue to face each other we had the united states champion bobby lashley defeating apollo cruz not a surprise right here but i do really hope that wwe just start finding new opponents for the hurt business and new opponents for apollo cruz and ricochet too because these two had just been fighting each other way too much we had the raw tag team champions the street profit defeating andrade and angel garza this match had a bit of a weird finish because the referee ended up throwing the X sign as Angel Garza seemed to have suffered some type of injury. So the referee went on to go for the three count early so it did look a little bit weird but they did the right thing because we don't necessarily know what type of injury Angel Garza ended up having. Bailey came out of course there was no Nikki Cross so Bailey did an open challenge and that was her greatest mistake because here comes Asuka who accepted the open challenge so Asuka ended up having two matches for the night i honestly didn't mind i always loved the chemistry between bailey and asuka and even though we've seen it already especially over the last couple of months i was still excited to see it it was for the smackdown champion but asuka ended up winning via disqualification so she didn't really win the title the big highlight here was that in the end sasha banks came back hitting bailey with a steel chair from behind and attacking her and getting the last laugh tonight before we get into the ambulance match i threw out the night wwe ended up hyping up the wwe draft so yes it is officially confirmed it is not going to be a superstar shakeup where they trade like 10 superstars to raw and 10 superstars to smackdown instead it is going to be a full draft hopefully they go back to the classic way of doing the draft where they have the podiums and they have representative from raw and smackdown we get some type of invasions and so on because we all know how the last draft went that was absolutely horrendous hopefully they change it up a little bit and make it more like the one that happened in 2016 the draft is gonna be starting off with friday night smackdown on october 9 and then it's gonna follow it up on monday night raw on october 12 following the sasha banks attack to bailey we got the wwe championship match drew mcintyre defeating randy orton honestly this was probably the most enjoyable match of the night and again i was surprised that it was not the main event then wwe did a storyline all throughout the match where randy Orton passed was literally hunting him everyone that he has attacked over the last as five to six months except for edge came back and had some type of payback tonight first it was the big show putting him through the announce table then we had christian attacking him in the backstage by catering then we had Shawn michaels delivering a super kick to him on top of the ambulance and then after drew mcintyre hit him with a claymore kick and a punk kick and put him inside the ambulance he closed up the door and the person who was driving the ambulance away was none other than rick flair so honestly it might be cheesy but it was a very creative way for wwe to go about this match glad to see that all of these type of superstar got some type of revenge on him and it also doesn't necessarily make randy and look weak while he is losing following that we got the main event of roman reigns defeating jay uso in the wwe WWE Championship match. Anyways, guys, that is what went down on this year's WWE Class of Champions. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, what you thought of the show. The three big highlights, in my opinion, was the triple threat ladder match, the main event, and the ambulance match. And I guess we could add a fourth one right there, and that being Sasha Banks attacking Bayley. Everything else was kind of like okay and not necessarily quote unquote big pay per view feel to it. But as I said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Based on the quick poll that I ended up 
doing on Twitter. So far, there is an 86% thumbs up and a 14% thumbs down. Let me know if you agree or disagree with that. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. So make sure to turn on those notifications to continue being up to date. And remember to stay savage.